Hey now, I'm Father Charles Pavlik from St. Timothy's in Chantilly, and this is Two Minutes to Virtue for the third Sunday of Lent. Our gospel for this third Sunday of Lent is that of the woman at the well. Jesus, tired from his travels, what rests at a well in Samaria. A Samaritan woman comes to draw water. Jesus asks her for a drink, and she's taken aback. She's a Samaritan, whom the Jews shun due to religious differences. She's a woman, and he's a man, not a relative. And she's an outcast, even her own community. There's a reason why she's drawing water alone at the height of the heat of the day. How can you ask me for a drink? Jesus alludes to the living waters he gives us to drink. She asks for that water. He says, go get your husband. She says, I don't have one. And he says, right, you have five plus a live-in boyfriend. Well, well, well. And she changes the subject to the liturgical debates. So she's a woman after my own heart. Should we worship on this mountain in Samaria or in Jerusalem? And Jesus responds, the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The woman says, I know the Messiah is coming who will tell us everything. Jesus says to her, I am he. I recently heard a praise and worship song about this gospel story. Now They were doing a sound check while I was getting ready to hear confessions, but the gist of what I got from it was that the Samaritan woman must have been exhausted. Sin and the consequences of sin wear us out. She was waiting for the Messiah. She longed for the living waters Jesus offered so that she would not be thirsty and have to keep returning to the well to draw water. What did the woman do after she encountered Jesus? She left her water jug behind and went back into town and told the people about our Lord. Now we meet Jesus in the sacraments, especially weekly mass and I hope regular confession. Can you find some way to tell others about your encounter with the Messiah? It doesn't have to be somebody stuck next to you in the middle seat on an airplane for three hours. Maybe just tell a coworker, I went to confession this weekend and I feel like the weight of the world's been lifted off my shoulders. Or tell an adult child on the phone, you know, I went to Mass and I left this in God's hands and I'm not going to worry about it. God bless you.